the joy of camping. Yes, there are few things in life as rewarding as sleeping in the dirt and depriving oneself of basic human dignities. Here, the platters are planning a camping trip of their own. But where will they decide to go? Yellowstone? The National Volcano Room? Or perhaps the chasm of a thousand groans? Mothers suggest they camp here, though they would have to greatly enlarge the map if they are all to fit, so they decide to drive somewhere instead. Father packs only the essentials. Camping stove? Check. Cereal gloves? Check. Condor safe? Check. As you can see, the safe is a bit on the small side, so the condor will have to be modified if they do happen to catch one. And they're on their way. It won't be too long before they get there, as father is not allowed to leave the state. Now that they have chosen their final resting uh, campsite, they can begin setting up camp. Father and Scubs visit the ranger station to see if there have been any werewolf sightings in the area. No sightings, replies the ranger, but plenty of eviscerations. They are instructed to try to avoid being made of sweet, tender human meat. The tent is a necessity when camping. This thin veneer of cloth will provide more than adequate protection from the razor-like claws of the nearby bears. And if the bears do happen to breach the tent, they will quickly lose interest once they see that the occupants are cornered and helpless. This type of tent has a flap-style entrance, though there are other varieties as well, like the, um, oh, uh, th th that one looks more like an exit. Oh, and just look at Scubs. He has just captured a live raccoon in his sleeping bag. Well, a, a raccoon, anyway. Here, Mother prepares a pasta supper made with mountain fresh creek water. This camping classic is bursting with indescribable flavors. It's the E. coli. And what's this? Tracy has spotted a mysterious loner camping just next door. He introduces himself as Mr. Oafman. Mr. W. Oafman. He joins them later around the campfire. Should be a beautiful night. There's a full moon after all. <laughs>